again, everyone. Uh, the title for today is The Best Lesson I Learned from a Top Design Creator. I had the opportunity last night to go to a creative event at my church, and they had a speak. Well, they had lots of speakers, but the speaker that I got the most from was a commercial designer for Nike. Well, he does a lot of commercial designs for a lot of companies, but we got to see the one he did for Nike, which was amazing. Anyways, he shared a tip uh, that basically the 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 pastor asked him the question um what's the number one thing you've learned for being such a amazing creator over all these years and he shared with us the secret cannot wait to share it and how i'm going to share it is with these cards that i have now um every time there's a new catalog the lady that i take training from uh rhonda wade her uh team, her group, uh, it's not just her team, but also all of us who uh, take her classes, we participate in a card swap. And so I have 40 cards that I got back in the mail, and I can't wait to share these with you. And while I'm sharing these cards with you, I'm going to share with you this tip I learned also. All right. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Christina Reese. This is Creating with Christina. Now, I come live every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on my Facebook page at 9.30 a.m. Central Time, and that's 10.30 Eastern and 7.30 Pacific. Um, that is a new time. Usually it was at 9.00 but now it's at 9.30, okay? So we all get to sleep in a little more. <laughs> and I get a little more extra time in the morning to get ready for you guys. If you need a catalog, so we're talking about the brand new catalog and these are cards that were made with product from the new catalog. If you do not have a new Stampin' Up! catalog and you would like me to send you one, just uh, message me with your address. The only thing I do ask, however, is that you please order from me and you can use my host code. My host code for May, let me pull this off and put that up there, there it is. My host code for May, what that does is al alerts me to send you a gift at the end of the month saying thank you. Um, now, if you go over $150 in your order, however, please do not use my host code. Be your own host and use your stamp and rewards that you get. And plus, we're having a great uh, 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 host promotion right now. I can talk about more of that later because I really want to get into these cards. Uh, one of the benefits about joining Stampin' Up! is the fun of card swaps. And that's what we're talking about today, card swaps. Now... These cards that I'm going to show you only have current product, okay? And what I want you to do is not, now while you're watching this live, you can take a few notes, but go back and replay it and take screenshots of the cards that you like, okay? The tip that I learned from this guy last night, and he said, and what he does, is every time he sees something that's really cool looking, he collects it. So he has a folder on his phone, kind of like our Pinterest folders that we make, our Pinterest boards. And it, let's say you don't particularly care for everything on the card, but maybe one little thing on the card really caught your eye or really something you'd like to try. Make yourself a little note. Um, when you save that image. And what he said is as you collect more and more ideas from what you see in this world, you draw from that and put it together to create your own idea, your own project, okay? And that's how he comes up with it. He doesn't come up with these ideas for these uh, videos and commercials just like from nowhere. He, he like, you know, uh, I don't know. He said that this Nike commercial that we got to see, um, he had to ask people because he's not from Texas and he's from California. And he said, but Nike wanted to have a commercial that really uh, felt the emotion and vibe of what Texans feel. Um, and this is Nike, so at that, it's athletics. And the number one sport in Texas, of course, is football. So he threw a lot of football in there, but there was more about Texas than just football and Friday night lights and the Cowboys and all that. 
he also is like barbecue, the longhorn cattle, the uh, our colleges, all this kind of stuff. And as he would see really cool things, he pulled these things together and he made this amazing commercial. Um, so that's what I want you to do with these cards, okay? You are going to draw ideas from all these cards and come up with your own ideas, all right? So let's get started, let's get started. Switch my camera view over. And we're going to start with these first cards. And these cards were created with the hand-penned suite. Um, the stamp set, I just love this stamp set. And it comes with dies, the paper, all of this. Let me flip it. Well, I did it this way so I could give credit to these people. And this one is Betsy Jen. All right, and this is her card. And I'm gonna pull these up so you all can see them really well. And you can see she uh, took the paper actually from Fine Arts. Uh, and that's, no, I'm sorry, that's not fine arts, that's in good taste. In good taste paper, um, she stamped on it. She did white embossing. She did, uh, oh, I don't know if you can see that, uh, the wink of Stella on there to make it all sparkly. She also stamped back here. She put some vellum, really pretty. All right, my next card is from Donna McCain. And she did a very simple uh, card strip, circle, bling, Thanks. Just a simple, easy card, but it looks really pretty. This one is from Dawn Davis in Georgia, or maybe Georgia's her last name. I'm not sure. Very simple. She did a cutout here. Um, she sealed, this is a fancy fold. She sealed it um, along this uh, inch right here and scored it so that this part opens up like that. Isn't that cool? That's fun. All right, this one's from Jane Stull. Um, and she has a fancy fold here also. So it flips up like that. Let me pull it down so you can see the flip better. Okay, so it goes like that and like that. And she put a little ribbon on there, thanks. This one is from Bonnie Waterman. Okay, and let's see, it's, yeah, it goes this way. She has some ribbon over here, some bling. She put it up on dimensionals. She has some Wink of Stella and it opens uh, portrait style. Okay. And who else do we have? We have Brandy Rude. And she used the um, stamp set from, oh, oh, is it Friendship Flowers? Yeah. Flowers of Friendship. But she used the hand penned um, paper and the hand penned flowers back here. So she kind of mixed it up a bit. And then this one is from Jean uh, Nielsen. Yeah, Jean Nielsen. And I, I can't wait to show you this. Now, this is what I'm talking about, okay? So this is a beautiful card. But I'm going to pull it up. And what she did is she scored little um, eighth-inch lines all the way around the card. All right? So instead of just using it, yeah, you can really see it there beautifully. Um, just a little detail there, real subtle, but beautiful. She also um, embossed with silver heat emboss. Okay, so it's just, I, I just love these details that these ladies come up with. So that was the hand-penned uh, cards that I got. Let's move on to the color and contour. And this is found on page 98 in the catalog. All right, all right. Oh yes, Deborah would. Oh, Deborah said some very talented crafters. That's for sure. All right, page ninety-eight. We have the colors and contour. And those of you who ordered this class kit from me, um, I put the order in yesterday, so it should be here in a couple days. I will cut everything up, put it in envelopes, and ship it out to you. And you should have it by Monday, the twenty-fourth. So let's cross our fingers. Um, no, I should be able to ship it out by Monday the 24th. I'm like, wait a minute, I couldn't possibly, I haven't even gotten here yet. <laughs> Anyways, this is an amazing set. Okay, here we go. So let me show it to you. Um, this is the stamp set. I love this stamp set. Oops, it's upside down. Sorry about that. Okay, here's the stamp set. Isn't that beautiful? And the dies are what really sell this uh, bundle. Are those scalloped rectangles gorgeous or what? And then also a beautiful scalloped edge too. And one of the cards that I have today uses that. So let's see these. This one is from Carol Vaness. 
I guess that's how you say it. Anyways, she did, she did all kinds of stuff. So she embossed the paper with the swirly embossing folder. She cut the rectangle, uh, scalloped rectangle, then two other layers here. She also cut out from the tags, the tags, and she cut out the daisy and put some Wink Estella on there. Really nice card, really nice card. And this one is from Bernice Halleck. And you can see she used um, the stem, the floral on the stem, so happy for you. Uh, she tied the ribbon, so real simple but beautiful card. This one's Diane Alberts. Um, this, she stamped it and then she embossed. So that's cool, and put a little ribbon there. And she did it all in one color, so we call this a monochromatic card, okay? Monochromatic card, beautiful. This one is from Carmen. Okay, back this. So we have a stitched rectangle, all right? And then she layered that and then she put it on the stitched uh, scalloped rectangle. Cool, huh? And she put a couple pieces of bling there. Just be, and, and I wouldn't have thought to make a, a brown yellow flower, but she just picked it up from the paper. Um, great idea, just use what the paper does. And that's how you can come up with ideas. All right, um, Donna Snipe-Miller. Okay, I guess that's how that goes. And then this is another, just a simple three little daisies on a rectangle, nothing fancy. She did emboss the card base though, so that's nice. And here we go with Susan uh, Wingard, I think. I think that's how you say it. Okay. Um, oh, I love when they do Wink Estella. Don't, isn't that so fun? I just love that. It's so pretty. And now she really, she got in, did two of the scalloped rectangles there. Yes. All right. This one is from Linda Harden. And oh, here's another monochromatic card using our new soft succulent. So pretty. And here we are, Rachel. Uh, trot i think and okay this is the one who used the scallop edge so she cut the scallop edge here and she opened it and now if you're wondering where this paper came from when you have an order over 150 you are your own host and you are eligible to purchase this paper pack it is only eligible for hosts so you can be your own host or you can um by spending that much, or you can gather some friends and get a big order put in, and then you would be a host that way and uh, get this designer paper. So look in the back of the catalog where it says host, um, um, oh, what does it say, host, I'm sorry you guys, here it is right here, pattern party, you get 48 sheets of 12 by 12, four each of 12 double-sided, and it's just beautiful paper. So um, that's back on page 171 if you're looking for that. All right, next is from Ray um, Hughes. And I just love how the You're Absolutely Amazing fits on this cute little rectangle there. Isn't that pretty? Now, You're Absolutely Amazing, does that come from this one? Yes, it does. Okay, this is from the same stamp set. Oh, but she did emboss with the Fine Arts um, paper embossing so it looks like um, oil painting back there or um, stucco and this is Carrie Blake very simple she just uh, monochromatic again she also embossed her layer back here so really simple but really nice and this one is Jackie Kokoros Kokoros and once, I mean, this stamp set just lends itself to beautiful cards, doesn't it? She also used the Fine Arts um, embossing folder. This one is from Katie Johnson. And just three little flowers colored, little sentiment. Now that is, uh, those, she did, um, okay, this is how she did this. Let me show you here. She st uh, punched the double oval punch. She did two scallops, but the black scallop she cut in half, and I don't know if you can see, there's just a wee gap right there. Um, 
just a wee gap where she separated the two scallops so you would see the black scallop behind the white. So that's a clever idea. You can take and Cindy Westerink. All right, oh my gosh. Oh, she used the beautiful um, uh, folder from, oh um, gosh, what was this? Uh, ornate, it was from the Ornate uh, Garden. That's what that was from, I love that. Um, and then look here, she took two different ribbons and she made the little tails that way. So that's different, I haven't seen that before. Um, and then she cut her scallop out of the designer paper. So pretty, I love that, the uh, pale papaya and gray. Isn't that pretty? I love that, or steel slate, I should call it. Okay, how far have we gotten into? 17 minutes, all right, let's speed it up a little bit. This next one is from Pansy Patch. And where is my Pansy Patch? Here we go. Pansy Patch is found on page 29. So let me flip over there. Here we go, Pansy Patch. And you can see all these great ideas here. And the sweet comes with these cute little baby bumblebees. I love these guys. And one of the cards in here has that. All right, we have from Wendy um, Eastler. We have, uh, she took the postage punch and she punched out four little postage stamps there and layered them. And she put some Wink of Stella on this pansy here. Isn't that pretty? All right. And then this one is from Kate. It just says katescrafts.com. So, all right. And she stamped the pansies, the little tiny pansies there. And she did a fancy fold. Neat. All right. This one is from Nettie Turner. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? If y'all have not seen our tie-dye spiral yet, it's so cool. And you can do two colors on here, and I'm going to do a card tutorial on how to do the two colors later. But she just cut the pansies out from the designer paper. She cut the leaves out from the card stock. She used the double oval punch also. Just so pretty. And I just love the combination of colors she chose. The beautiful uh, steel slate um, with the new, um, what was that, fresh free, I want to say fresh freesia, but it's fresh freesia. <laughs> All right, and here we go. Oh, now, like I said, I, how card swaps go is I created 40 cards, 20 of two different kinds, sent them in, and then the lady who organizes it, Carol, she divides all the cards up into all the different groups and mails back your package of cards. So this was the card that I created. Just really simple, just use the paper. Um, I assembled the pansy here and did the little stamp. And this gingham is the back of this paper. And so I just cut this at four by four and a quarter and cut off an inch and flipped it over and put a little strip here of matching coordinating paper. So just an easy card, just fun. You could add more to it, some ribbon or whatever else. And this card is from Bonnie Waterman. And oh, she's the one who used the bee. I gotta show this bee to you. Isn't that the cutest little bee right there? I love that. And she did the little uh, pansy uh, bud. Um, instead of the big pansy. I like that. And she used the pansies on the paper and then the bud for her accent. Really nice card. All right, so that was uh, Pansy Petals, I mean Pansy Patch, um, the card, the stamp set, and then it has all the pieces to create pansies. So that is really cool. All right, so let me put that over there. What is next? We have Flowers of Friendship. Now, I don't have very many of these. I'm getting down now to the ones where only a few people made. Um, you can tell which were the most popular. Hand Penned is hands down the most popular uh, stamp set so far. If you don't have that one, uh, you might wanna get your hands on it before it goes on back order. It's selling out pretty fast. All right, here we are, we're on Flowers of Friendship, okay? And this comes with a punch. So here's the punch right here. And I love punches. Um, they just make creating multiple cards so much faster than cranking it through the uh, cut and emboss machine. So here we go. We're starting with Jen Pita. And she did, I love this, just a, a black 
pencil. It's like a pen sketch on craft paper. Very simple, but it just, it really gives it that extra elegance, I think. She also used this little bit down here um, at the bottom. Instead of using a whole rectangle, she just used a part of the rectangle as some trim. That's a good idea. Okay, and she also used our corner round punch and just punched two corners, not all four. So those are some clever ideas. There you go. This one is Stephanie Mang uh, Mangus, yeah, and she made the cute little flowers with the punch. She just set them on a tag. Uh, that is from the um, Hippo one, I can't remember. Get well soon, and then this paper back here. So uh, she kind of took pieces from all kinds of uh, elements in the catalog, um, but it's just really pretty. And then this one is from Christy Hicks. Very simple, but very elegant, okay? And she used the symmetry paper. I love the symmetry paper, you guys. That is awesome paper. And then she just accented with one of the colors, which is the pale papaya. All right, and last one here is from Nadine Hunter. And she used the, car, the tag punt or the tag die, the pansy paper. Um, this is a label die. A uh, punch, I'm sorry, a label punch and some ribbon. Very simple, but very pretty. All right, so that was Flowers of Friendship. Our next one is Party Puffins. If y'all have not seen Party Puffins, I love Party Puffins. Found on page 67. Okay, page 67. There we go. Now, don't forget, go back and re-watch this video, if you're watching on the replay, to pause it and take screenshots of the ones you like and take notes. So this is Party Puffins. Are they not the most precious things? Have y'all ever seen a puffin? Um, I was real fortunate one time to take a boat ride out from the coast of Maine um, to see the puffins, and they are only this big and they swoop down and catch these little fish. <laughs> They're like little minnows that hang in their mouth. They're so cute. So here's one, and she used the Stamparatus, and this is this hinge stamping that you do. You stamp it, move it down, stamp it, move it down. Then you move the stamp over, or down a little bit, and stamp it, stamp it, stamp it, and so it, um, it makes it perfectly spaced each time. I just love that. That's great. Um, she colored her cute little puffin. Happy birthday. Make a wish. Make a wish. She kind of tilted the paper a little bit, askewed it, put it on some vellum. Just a great, simple, fun card and a, a couple pieces of the uh, bling there. All right. And we have one more. And this one is from... Oh, she did not put her name on here. She just told me what she used to create it. All right. Well, this one, uh, she did happy birthday, happy birthday. And she used these cute um, embossing dies that do these little fun squiggly lines like that. And then she used the scallop from Colors and Contour. So she kind of used a little bit from everything too. All right. So that was Party Puffins. And I just love the font for party puffins. And see, here's the little baby fish that they catch and he's holding his hands and you put the little fish present in the puffins hands here. <laughs> I just love this set. So cute, so cute. All right, we have one more, The Quiet Meadow, found on page 110. Almost done, you guys. 110, Quiet Meadow. This is a beautiful stamp set. It's got this beautiful little uh, pencil, uh, art sketch thing here, some splatter ink here, um, a floral here. So these little flowers, this is a bigger one of that. Then it, um, you can barely read this, but it's not meant to be read. It's meant to be used as a background stamp, okay? And you're too kind, thinking of you, heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. I mean, this kind of, if you have a card ministry at your church, this is just perfect because sometimes you're writing a card to someone you don't even know, um, so you wouldn't want to put, you know, from me to you because they don't even know who you are. But heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you just, you know, from the church. So that's really cool. So, um, yeah, let me show you these cards. Oh, wait a minute. Where are they? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. Oh. Well, okay. That's crazy. Oh. I just had it, I swear. 
Well, I don't know where they went. Hopefully they'll, oh, Whew, I found them. <laughs> okay, here they are. Um, this one is from Lori Service. Here we go. So she did the little tag here. So there's a beautiful um, cutout tag right there. And then she put the thinking of you on there and she used the hand penned paper. Um, all right, and then this one is from Barbara P Piscato. Piscato, I don't know how to say that. Um, she did a silhouette in white, a little bit of the pansy paper. She used the fine arts uh, embossing folder and then that thinking of you there. And this one is from Olivia Studley. Uh, and look, she just, she really used the stamp set. She did the background stamp here. She used um, some designer paper. She used silhouette. She stamped. She even colored a little bit. She put the thinking of you and put bling. She even did a layer here. So this is a, this is just great. She kind of used little elements of all kinds and put together this amazing card really pretty all right and that's that for that card but these last three here are from oh wait a minute but let me save these let me go to this one this is beauty of friendship and beauty of friendship is like in the first page of the catalog it's like the very first one here it is beauty of friendship beauty of the earth is beautiful um fall and summer uh tree paper and this is monica uh, Giberti, I guess, and French. Look, oh, she um, distressed the edges. Oh, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, come here. Yeah, you can see it there. See how she distressed the edges of her rectangle, and down here also. That is so cool. I love that. Okay, um, she just punched out the tree shape with that designer paper. And she cut out the little bird and put some of this ribbon back here. She stamped some trees back here, used the wood paper. Just, just really fun. I love that. All right. And this one is Diane Lanzendorf. She used all uh, the cutouts. And then she stamped the sentiment and the shadows. So that is a great card there. And I use this stamp set also. This one, I use the paper. I stamped and cut out. Um, I used the tree paper. Um, I put just a little bit of twine back here, not much, a little bird, thank you, um, I embossed. So now I would have used the actual embossing folder that came with the suite, but it was sold out when I was trying to order it, but I have it now, but I'd use that um, one instead there. All right, and uh, it's just beautiful, awesome. Okay, these last three cards, here we go. These last three cards are using designer paper really only, and this one uses the hand penned. Um, she does use the um, Quiet Meadows right there, but she was really accenting that paper. This one definitely is just the paper. I mean, our paper is so gorgeous, you don't even need anything else. Isn't that pretty? And this one also just used the paper um, accented, and she used the heart punch. Um, that heart punch can be used all year round. It's not just for Valentine's. <laughs> it's a really great punch. All right, so those were my cards. Wow, <laughs> I hope you guys got a lot of ideas uh, today. And like I said, what I learned from the uh, creator last night was get these ideas, take little bits and pieces, put them together to make your own idea. And that's what we call creativity. And I hope you all have fun creating some cards today and tomorrow. Don't forget, Wednesday we have our card challenge uh, right now we are working on masculine cards so get your entry in to win um, don't forget the host code it's up above my head there and if you need a catalog let me know all right you guys have an awesome day love you so much and see you Wednesday at 9 30